and welcome to another video. We are here in Scotland and today we're going up Ben Ledi. I'm just trying to sort out my compasses. I've had a bit of an issue recently where a number of them have um, polarised. So essentially north is pointing south and south is pointing north. But it looks like they're both pointing in the same direction. Potentially they're both broken, but I'm going to work with positivity today and assume they're both okay. So I'm going to leave one and take one, although it is always a good thing to have a spare compass. Anyway, the weather's looking fine and dandy. Let's get packed up and get up the Corbett. Fine and dandy. <laughs> also, Anna's coming with me. Hi. Hi. This is your first Corbett. I know. How are you feeling? Excited. Yeah. Yeah, very excited. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's good to be outside. It is good to yeah. be outside. The map we are using today is the Trossachs. Uh, number 46. I nearly said 64. You can see here. <laughs> Yeah. So we are going to walk. Uh, uh, bear with. Um. <coughs> Directions with Abby. <laughs> it's on the other side. <laughs> Maybe not. Yeah, it is. So you see here. We are not there. Oh, it is on the other side. <laughs> we are here. <Yeah. laughs> so you see, Loch Lubneck is just over there, and we're parked here. And so I've done a little pencil line. Oh, we're parked here actually. And we're going to go. Ben Lady 479. And then we're going to go off piste. So there's pathless stretch. And then drop down to the forest. And we'll come down through the forest. Switch back in trail. It's going to be quite steep. There's the other contours together. And then skidoosh. We're back on the edge here of the lock. And what we might do is even pop in to the cafe just down the road. We are Keys. Oh yeah. <laughs> this way. <laughs> this way. Really? Yeah. <laughs> We're going up there. Woo! All right, we are on the move. Uh, just heading up to the path that's going to take us up to Ben Ledi. Uh, so I mentioned Corbett a couple of times. Basically, a Corbett is a Scottish mountain or smaller than a mountain, so between 2,500 and 3,000 feet. Anyway, it'll be good to uh, tick one off today. Ben Lady. Skidoosh. So pretty along the path with a striking rose bay willow herb or fireweed in the States as it's known. Love the colour of this flower. Really beautiful. Scotland boasts a wealth of wildflowers, with over three and a half thousand varieties in total. Not only did we pass the vibrant rose bays, but harebells, knapweeds, yarrows and ragworts as well. It was lovely walking right from the beginning, with views also opening up over Loch Lubneg below. We have a billboard. Oh. Calanda Commemorative Grove. Trees growing here are a living tribute to 67 soldiers named on the Ancaster Square War Memorial in Calanda. Pictures of them all from the war. Hmm. That's nice. Random erratic boulder. Always oh, such a treat to stumble upon fungi. There's loads here, just uh, lining the path. Also, seem to be being showered on now. My fungi ID needs some work, but like the wildflowers, we enjoyed varieties of every colour and shape. We've come out onto this trap here, and then we've got a sign. This is sort of, I think, probably where we go up into the common land. 
are you well equipped? Now what I like about Scotland is you pretty much have the right to roam wherever you want, to camp wherever you want. And I've passed some pretty sketchy signs that basically say uh, like accessing help beyond this point is going to be very difficult. You're entering remote wilderness, make sure you're properly equipped and prepared. Um, obviously when you go up high it is really important to make sure you know how to navigate the weather comes in you know and have the right equipment first aid waterproof insulating layers food drink um, we've got a stove we might make a brew up the top as well which should be quite nice but we are properly equipped so we can head on up the trail all right so you see how this is all slabbed on the path Basically, it's a uh, footpath management or erosion control. So this is clearly a popular little walk and the rangers and landscape management obviously often put slabs in when they're trying to yeah, reduce erosion because of heavy footfall. So it's really important when we're walking that we stay to the main footpath and uh, just help them to conserve the landscape that we're moving through. Raining over there. Whoops. As we climbed higher, the weather attempted to move in, but never really intensified to anything more than a few heavy droplets. You can see the path here, nice and clear, just heading up the side, and then we'll head on up. And down. Oh, hi. Hi. Are you having fun? I'm going to be down. 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 Never let me down. Good song. Mm, shady. In disguise. You can just about see Calanda now, one of the sort of main settlements here in the Trossachs. And uh, up there, that's the Calanda Crag. So we just did a little walk around there the other day. Uh, basically go out through the woods and then drop down underneath that collection of pines back down into the village or town even. Very pretty, but then so is this entire view. So, so good to be up high right now. I just couldn't get enough of the views, but it wasn't just the big sights that took my breath away but the little things as well. It was an immersive experience on every level. We are sort of cutting around the corner now of the Corbett. Uh, so we're getting views just all around us. It's absolutely stunning. Loving this so much. I mean, what was locked down this year, 2020, with the COVID-19, uh, the only mountain I got to climb was Ben Nevis in winter, in January. Uh, so it's just so good to be back up in my kind of landscape, my element. Uh, obviously, wind's picking up a bit as it usually does when you go up high. Uh, anyway, Ben Leddy actually means the hill of the slope. It's famous for Walter Scott's poem, The Lady of the Lake. I actually don't know the poem very well, but I know Walter Scott. Ha! Ah, really looking forward to getting to the top and reap the rewards of the climb. Amazing views. Loving this, you can just about see up there that uh, that's the summit. Making good progress again, just this last little push now, and you can see here this sort of grassy path. This is a trod, so foul runners often use these to make a fast descent all the way down. Oh my life. Just looking back is insane. Absolutely insane. <sighs> the path was clear as we ascended, slowly, always upwards, towards the summit of Ben Ledi. Got this cross here. Gonna obviously have amazing views on the other side. Woo, look at that says, in memory of Sergeant Harry Laurie, killed on duty within Killin Mountain Rescue Team, Benmore, Feb 1st, 1987. 
We spent a bit of time at the cross, soaking up the wild atmosphere and watching a pair of ravens, one of a handful of bird species that call the hostile mountains home. All right, so that's the Summit Cross. Let's head up to the Summit Cairn. That was uh, built in 1887 to commemorate the Jubilee Queen Victoria. Are you ready to reach the top? I am. She is. Yeah. We're doing it. It's happening. It is. It is. Hey, we need to boom it together. Come, come. Ready? <laughs> And boom! Ping. Oh, you went ping. Oh, I thought we were going to ping. 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 <laughs> wow, look at this. Woo! Amazing. And then that is our ridge walk. Definitely time to get some layers on there. With the wind chill, it was cold at the top, around five degrees. But the clear weather meant we could look out over the endless horizons of peaks and summits. Uh, we just got this little crag here. We're gonna sit here and make a brew. The weather is definitely coming in, so we'll whip the kettle on, get some warm liquids in us, and then we'll press on along the ridge. Cheers! Cheers! To Ben Lady. To Ben Lady. <laughs> mm, that is good. Nothing mm. like a brew in the hills. Yeah. A brew with a view. Yeah, oh, yeah, man. For a few moments, we sat in silence, feeling a deep sense of reverence towards the land around us. Although peaceful now, they had played host to many a battle in the past. Okay, I'd be lying if I said it was warm, a little fresh now. We've got uh, some layers on because we're going to be walking directly into the wind. Thankfully, actually no, I'm not going to say that out loud. Something about the weather, but let's not jinx things. Are you, have you got enough layers there? <laughs> Only just. I'm losing you underneath it all. That's good, that's good. That's what we want, well done. And then pull the wire tight at the back. Yeah? No, I'm not going to keep it on. No. Oh. I should have done it for you. Oh, it's all for the viewers. <laughs> all right, let's go. <laughs> all right, so we're going to jump on the ridge now and then drop down towards the lock in, and then that signals our turning point down into the forest down there, actually. In fact, you can see the path. We headed down into the boggy landscape, following a number of indistinct paths and tapping into our navigational skills in order to stay on track. Yeah, good job. I have to say, it really is quite stunning with the heather that's coming out now. I mean, in a week, I reckon this will all be vibrant purple and pink. I really love it. I've uh, taken my jacket off, just trying to be bold. And, um, you know, I really just, I enjoy the coolness, the freshness, the purity of the mountain wind on my skin. Uh, I'm not being stupid about it. Obviously, you don't want to get hypothermic, but uh, we're dropping down now into this little valley glen thing so should be all right the most common type of heather in scotland is ling heather which is hardy fast growing and loves wet soil astonishingly it covers over 5,000 acres of scottish moorland hills and glens <laughs> it wasn't just the heather that left us speechless though the forward views did their part as well We have a proper sketchy looking style coming up. <laughs> Check this out. Okay, if that's stable, I'm impressed. Oh, it is. Somewhat. Take a look at this. So we dropped down into the heather now, which is awesome, but even better. Well, actually just equally as good. Uh, we finally got some trees, which is nice. A mixture of sort of pine trees. We've got some mountain ash here. So rowan, um, what else have we got? Silver birch, always nice and some willow so it's good shows we're dropping back down to the tree line and then we're gonna basically 
weave our way through the woods, as I said, back to the lock and the car park along the lock shore. We actually head off uh, in the direction behind us, but I wanted to show you this really nice. It's this river here. You can see looking down. And then looking up, we got that waterfall cascading down the mountainside. Try not to fall in. <laughs> there was water everywhere, but this was to be expected given the frequent rainy conditions. The weather in Scotland is often very changeable, and one saying goes, if you don't like the weather, just wait five minutes. As such, mosses and lichens grew in abundance, tiny worlds of explosive colours, all in reach of our fingertips. Seriously, this is just insanely stunning. Really, really enjoying. Uh, firstly, being out in the wind is quite nice because you can just look up and take in the scenery, but the heather I mean, as I've said, it'll be out more in a week or two, but it is just so good to be in the mountains, the peace and quiet. All we've got is the um, babbling of the brooks and, uh, well, the burns actually here, and the wind in the trees, and that's about it, really. Just got the lock coming into view there. We've still got a way to drop down. Uh, doing good though, making good time. And you can hear the waterfall on the burn or the back, but actually you can't see it. We passed by a small hydro scheme, part of the Kalanda Community Project, which works towards securing sustainable energy for the town. <laughs> that right there is mountain energy. So the mountains does to you, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> there's so much oxygen in the air. <laughs> You're high on oxygen. Yeah. Actually, the higher you go, the thinner the oxygen gets. Yeah. <laughs> but there are less people and they don't yeah. breathe it away. I agree. <laughs> and all of the trees make it for us. They do. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm not worried. <laughs> I'll be able to see the waterfall in a second. It's not a viewpoint. There it is! Wow, that's far too soon. Whoa, look! It's really long. Although not particularly visible, the roar of the waterfall was all consuming, echoing off the surrounding glens and hills. A rope swing! It's got to be done! Yes! <laughs> Almost back at the car, we slowed our pace once more, taking the time to capture the little things all around us. Alrighty, so we have emerged onto this track here. This is going to take us down to the little road that runs alongside the Loch, Loch Lubneg, and that's going to take us right back to the car. So our walk, Anna, is coming to an end. It is. Have you enjoyed it? I've loved it. You have? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. What was your favourite part of the walk for you? Um, climbing up, actually. Yeah. I like the, um, what do you call it? News? 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, they were okay. Yeah, as well. Just, just I mean, average. Average. Yeah. yeah. Very average. Yeah. Actually. <laughs> I know. I like using my body climbing. Oh, okay. Yeah, you enjoy the exertion. The exertion. Let's go this way. Okay. Great. That's good. Um, it feels good, doesn't it? And then my other favorite point, uh, part was definitely having a brew with a view. Ah, brew with a view. Yeah. Oh, that's good. I love yeah. it. Nice one. Yeah, I really just what enjoyed the whole journey. The whole time outside, just being outside in the mountains is home for me. Uh, the weather has been sound, can't complain at all. And uh, now we're on home straight now. So guys, I want to say thanks so much for watching. Enjoy your very own adventures, wherever they may be. And until next time, you ready? Stay wild! Stay wild. <laughs> See you soon!